Probably gonna follow her. Everybody in East Texas is proud of you too. I mean, oh, Neil McCoy sweet. is the king down there, and of course everywhere. <laughs> the king alone. But but everybody loves you because you have such a big heart. You have a charity event that yeah. you do every year. Tell us about it. I want to hear oh, about no. it. Oh no! Come on. You don't need to. Yes, let's hear about it. <laughs> He Bless does. Your heart. I want to hear about it. I got to sing on it one sure. time. I you want did. to tell us about it because there's other people who wants to it, be on it. It's a foundation my wife and I started in Longview, Texas, where we live. Been there. We've been married almost 38 years. And we, but well, Sean was up, fixing to be born. And we, you know, in, in this business, and I know I'm speaking to the room here because a lot of us get invited and we go do shows. You get a booking, you go do a show. You go, and when you're there, you find out sometimes, a lot of times, that it's a benefit. You know, so you'll have people coming up, oh, it's so kind of you to come down here. It's so sweet of you. And, and somebody was, you know, I had that, as we started to have a few hits, and then finally somebody, I was in Arizona, Tombstone, Arizona, I'll never forget it. And somebody came up and said, that is sure nice of you to come down here and, don't, and, and not donate, but spend your time with us. And I said, look, I don't have any idea. I'm here for a paying gig. Please tell me what I'm doing here. Please tell me what we're doing. They said, it's, it's a benefit for a, a young man with bone marrow cancer. And I said, Oh, my gosh. I said, where is he? Where is his family? I, I, I was feeling guilty because I was just going down there and taking money, which we all, you know, it's working gigs. So, so I made a conscious effort to say, if I, if I know I'm going to do benefit, I want to find out what it's benefit. And I want, to, I want to meet the people. I want to see the ball field or the plans or whatever it is you're going for, just so you can kind of get a purpose when you're doing a show. Instead, just get up and going through your motions, sing a song, entertaining people, and leaving. So I met a young, a young boy uh, named uh, Matt Barney. He was nine years old, and I just fell in love with him and his family, and enough so much that when I went back home to, uh, to Longview, my wife was pregnant with our son, and we talked about it, and I said, you know, there's, there, we're so fortunate that we can, we can uh, provide for a family. You know, we've, we've, we've struggled through the hard times, but we're now we're having some hits and, and getting some stuff done, so what, you know, what can we do? And, and we talked about it, and we came over to the East Texas Angel Network to help Children in our home area, our East Texas area, Northeast Texas, with life-threatening, life-challenging illnesses to help them with expenses. And, 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 and Matt, the little boy that I met that day, he ended up, we became great friends. He was in a, uh, I had a big song called Wink, and him and his sister came out and were in the video of it, and he died just shortly after that. And it just, it got to, when we started getting our minds together, you know, we just thought, how can we help people? It's about time we start thinking of other folks other than just ourselves. You know, and, and I think that's, I think as, as you start to become more successful, you kind of have a purpose. You figure out really what life's about. You know, I, my mother used to make us kids go to church all the time, and I won't bore you to death. But, and, and I never, you know, when you're young, you just don't quite understand what you're doing. My, my older brother and older sister, they were sharper than me, and they understood, but I didn't. So, but as you, as you get married, and then you, you start to have kids, life takes shape, and then you get older, and then you have grandkids, and then it's just like, yeah. I, I'm glad I learned a long time ago what I was supposed to be doing and why I'm really here. Uh, but, but so we started the foundation, and we've helped, golly, over 500 families. We've raised about $9 million just in our, wow. in our area. And, and, and Linda came, but, but, but people, people like Blake Shelton have come and Martina and Wayne Newton, a lot of people will come. And if any of y'all want to come for free, boy, I'd love to talk to you. <laughs> but it's, and no kidding, but, but it's, been, it's been a great thing. And, and Linda, yeah, she, just, she just toots our horn wherever she goes and, I just can't thank you enough. Thank you for letting me be your friend. Thank you for sharing that.